Hi everyone. In this video, we are dealing with product lifecycle management in Odoo 13. Product lifecycle management under Odoo deals with engineering change orders. As the name implies, engineering change orders are the procedures carried for applying changes in the product components, documents or assemblies. Changes can be with respect to processes, work instructions or changes in the specifications. For instance, if the existing bill of material of a product got damaged, we have to replace it and update the bill of material. So here we have to use the ECOs, the engineering change orders. Now let us see the configuration of engineering change orders and for that we shall go to the module of PLM product lifecycle management. So this is the module of PLM let's open it. So this is the overview or the dashboard of product lifecycle management module and here we have few menus overview changes master data reporting configuration and so on first of all let's create an engineering change order types under configuration we shall get the option for ECO types so this is the page where we can create the ECO type click on the create button now we shall give a name for the ECO type So we have given the name revision of table and let us save it. So we have created an ECO type and let's go back to the overview to see it. So this is the ECO type you have created just now. Now we shall open the ECO type you have just created. Click on the engineering changes here. So this is the page. Here we have column title and so on. So this is the page where we can create stages for this type. So let's create few stages here. Click on add. This is the another stage progress and the stage called validate now the another stage is effective And we are going to make the last stage rejected. So these are the stages we have created just now. Now we have settings for each stages click here we have the settings here here if we need we can fault the stage we can edit delete archive and unarchive all the stages from here now we shall edit each stages and configure it click on the settings click on the edit stage so this is the pop-up page to configure each stage here we can give name for the stage and this is the type we have already created if need 
we can fold this stage in the Kanban view allow to apply changes final stage we can set it as final stage and so on this is the column where we can set approvals for each stages click on add a line this is the first stage so we can add this is the role and we can set the user Michelle admin and this is first stage and therefore we need not set it for approval we can just add for comments only okay now save it now it's a stage of progress edit the stage name is progress on the approvals column add a line Here we shall give it for the approval of the user. Approval and the user is Michelle Admin. Approval is required. Click on the save button. And the next stage is validate click on the edit stage now here I would like to give for apply changes then we shall add the approvals this is the final approval stage and the user is Michelle admin approval is required click on the save And the next stage is effective. Edit this stage. And I am setting this stage as the final stage. And for so that there is no need of approvals here. And this is the final stage. Click on the save button. And the next stage is reject the stage. And we are not editing this stage. We can just keep it folded in this folder so we have configured all the stages now we shall create a engineering change order here click on the create button this is the form to create engineering change orders first of all we shall give a short summary replace the table legs then the type is auto populated here this is the ECO type we have already created legs are the components of table so this ECO change is applied on bill of material so we are selecting bill of materials here so when we select bill of materials a new field of bill of materials is added here so now let's select the product table so when we selected the table the bill of materials of table is automatically filled here now the responsible person is Michelle admin now the option is effectivity if we set the effectivity on a date the effect of this engineering change order will come on at that date we can select any date here or else we can set the effectivity as soon as possible here we set the effectivity on as soon as possible now there is a tab note 
here we can write any description about this change also there is a tab of approvals here we can see all the status of approvals so we have configured the engineering change order now we shall click on the save button so as soon as we have saved this change order came into the state of new now this is in the state of new when we go back to the engineering change order we can see it this is the change order we have created just now so this change order is in the new stage so in the stage of new we have given an option for comment so going to the approval tab we can see that acknowledge demand so uh, let's go to the log note and let's give a comment here okay click on lock so we have commented now we shall start the new revision now we shall put this change order into the next stage progress if we click here this change order will go into the progress stage or else we can simply drag and drop this change order into the progress stage so now it is in the progress stage here we have the option to approve or reject it without giving a remark of approve or reject it will not go to the next stage if we try to move it on to the validate stage it won't go because we have not approved it in the approval status we can see the next status of approval is approval so let's approve it so we have approved it now let us move it on to the next stage called validate so now it is in the validate stage in this stage we can see bom revision so let's go so this is the page of bill of materials of table here we can click on edit now we shall replace the present table legs with the better ones because we are changing the table legs here this table leg we can change this table leg and the quantity is 4 so we have upgraded the table legs and let's save it and when we look the miscellaneous tab we can see the version is changed here it is now 3 now let us go back to the change orders so we have updated the bill of materials now we shall approve it and click on apply changes because at this stage of validate we have given an option for apply changes that we can see in the approvals tab so click on apply changes now it automatically went to the effective stage this is the final stage and we have completed the change orders with this stage so it is in the effective state so this is all about plm module in odoo 13
If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.